myself dr alan burgis i am a junior resident in the in the department of forensic medicine toxicology uh, in gurugobind singh medical college faridkot uh, my poster presentation topic would be uh, non suicidal self injuries with malefit intent uh, talking about uh, the background non suicidal self injuries or nssi refers to intentional destruction of one's own body tissues without suicidal intent and for the purposes not socially sanctioned and is also referred to by various authors as self inflicted self suffered fabricated injuries etc now the textbook discuss self inflicted or suffered injuries as superficial multiple parallel and often overlapping usually localized to one part of the body and there are often uh, presence of tentative cuts or hesitation cuts in close proximity and also symmetry is often found other features of nssi would be uh, they are mostly incised wounds and sometimes contusions stab wounds and burns uh, these are usually present on accessible parts of the body and not in sensitive areas uh, such as eyelids genitalia or nipples the classic picture of nssi as discussed in textbooks is uncommon especially where the perpetrator has had a professional help uh, talking about uh, five cases which were uh, which came to our uh, which came to emergency of our college the ages of uh, these uh, five cases ranged from a minimum of 32 years to a maximum of 44 years out of these four were males and one was a female Four belong to rural areas and one to a semi-urban area. Out of these, two were laborers. One was a housewife. Lady was a housewife, and two were unemployed. Important thing to note here was the time interval between the alleged assault and their arrival in hospital varied from a minimum of five hours to a maximum of ten hours. Uh, on average, more average was more than six hours. Number of suspect injuries. Uh, where one in case one, two, and four, and two in case three and five, body parts involved were left hand in all the cases and right leg in case three and case five. Nature of injuries was grievous in all cases. The bones involved were metacarpal bone in case one, and all cases, just all cases, showed phalangeal uh, phalanx, uh, which showed comminuted fracture. And also, uh, tibial fracture in case three and five, specifically unicortical fracture of tibia. The earliest weapon in all cases was kappa, which is usually a, a sharp and a moderately heavy weapon, along with it uh, a gandasi, which is a sharp and a heavy weapon, and uh, soti, which is a, a blunt weapon, was used. Clothings in case one and two were blood stained. If you see case three, there was a corresponding cut present over the cloth, uh, corresponding to the injury, but there were no blood stains present. Uh, now, uh, discussion: all the cases presented with incised wound to the affected part, along all these cases presented with uh, incised wound to the affected part, along with vague, vague complaints of pain over different parts of the body. In case three, we see clothing uh, as uh, earlier discussed. Clothing exhibited cut corresponding to the injury, but the clothes were not blood stained. In all cases, there were inconsistencies between the pattern of injury and patient's own history, own version of the. And external injury. To conclude. Uh, it is important that the forensic practitioner should identify and note the precise precise site of injury on the body describe the total number of injuries their dimensions the direction and depth thoroughly examine the clothes and take into account the medical and psychiatric history uh, i would like to suggest that fabricated firearm and fabricated grievous wounds are a gray area which were which are not made considered in the literature authors need to incorporate these in the textbook medical practitioners preparing mlrs in the periphery need to be educated about the same in the absence of 
रेलिवेंट लिटरेचर रजिस्टर्ड प्रैक्टिशनर्स डीलिंग विद मेडिकल लीगल वर्क शुड डॉक्यूमेंट ऑल द इंजरीज इन डिटेल एंड इफ दे आर अनेबल टू रिपोर्ट दैट दीज आर फैब्रिकेटेड दे नीड टू डायरेक्ट द पुलिस टू टेक इन टू अकाउंट दी सर्कमस्टेंशियल एविडेंस एक्टिव कॉपरेशन विद इन्वेस्टिगेटिंग एजेंसीज इज एसेंशियल एंड लेटर शुड रजिस्टर केसेज ओनली आफ्टर थरो इन्वेस्टिगेशन एंड हैविंग रिगार्ड फॉर दी डिटेल्ड कंटेंट ऑफ द मेडिकल लीगल रिपोर्ट थैंक यू सर